Year one, we underperformed and went 0-12. Year two, we overperformed, won seven games, but lost our bowl game to Washington. Year three was actually, all things considered and given our overall, pretty realistic in the Mountain West with only four wins. However, that is not going to fly in year four. This is the year we turn the page and we're gonna make a run to win a bowl game. Mark my words. Gotta give a quick salute to Brent Martin. He will be missed. He graduated from Salona Beach and left setting every single receiving record on paper. Currently signed to the Eagles practice squad and he has an offer from Memphis to play in the UFL if needed. He's trying to make it big time. Which brings me to the state of today. Phillip Rivers has chosen to go with Adam Allen as the 1A quarterback option for the start of the season. One Brent left at receiver, another came in at running back. Brent Burrell has really good speed and excel as a redshirt freshman. We're gonna rock with him and Donnie Turner the top of the depth chart. These dudes are speedsters. Speaking of speedsters, Adam Allen will definitely be chucking up bombs to Kellen this year. The Alaska native has ice in his veins and 95 speed to go with it. This is Rock Boston's senior season, so we need to send him off in style. Expect big things from the tight end this year. Last, but not least, the defense continues the youth movement. Gem defenders are starting to step it up. And this year's defense should be much improved, headlined by true freshman John John, a defensive tackle beast. Got to love the sights and sounds at the start of a new season. A fresh slate and fresh start for new opportunities. Here's a peek at Salona Beach's schedule. That road game against number two Texas is going to be brutal. Yes, I've said it a few times before, and hopefully this is the last time I have to say it, because we are winning a bowl game this year. I'm restricted to recruiting only three-star prospects or less less and they have to border an ocean. So John Williams here, a 6'6 tight end from Oklahoma, interested in Salona Beach as his number one choice. Just like the rest of our landlocked sponge fans, we can't recruit him. Seems like the sponges are also getting some recognition out in Arizona, but there's no water there for us to soak it up. And then you already know Philip Rivers has got to go put some top three-star prospects on our board that don't necessarily have our school on the radar yet. Always think it's a good idea to add an athlete to our radar. Then as per usual, I start with the largest deficit to see if any of these guys are going to be worth our time or a waste of time. At 66 overall, this guy doesn't really excel anything besides tackling and hit power. Oh baby, Kevin Goodman is top of our list. 78 overall, 95 speed, 80 zone, 80 man, 85 press. He'd be right up there as one of the best recruits in Salona Beach history. And ironically, he'd be right up there with Dennis Broxton as our cornerback one. David Barry, a middle linebacker with 89 hit power, 82 speed. And man, oh man, this is a rare sight. Brandon Hogan, a 76 overall tight end. Great blocking, great catching. Let's get this Florida sponge over to Cali. Wow, okay. Rashad cracked the second team All-American preseason poll. And there we go. Three guys on the first team All-Mountain West poll. Rock Boston getting a second team nod as well. Step one, Brandon Hogan. Offer scholarship. Give him 700 points. Step two, give David Barry scholarship and 700 points. We're not messing around. Step three, I guess guess give Amir a scholarship. Still kind of confused with 85 excel and 80 tackle hit power. Nothing else looks good here. Step four, this is a must. Kevin Goodman, take all my points. The California native he needs to come home to Salona Beach. Brian's pretty intriguing here. 81 speed, decent catching, and he's six foot eight. The rest of this list feels pretty dry. A lot of busts. All right, after the week one bye, it's week two, and this is exactly the matchup we needed. Should be a little early season showcase for our guys. Nothing like opening week in college football. It is electric here for all the 6,000 fans in the stands. I mean, we talked about it in year one when we were winless, when fans weren't showing up. It's like, it's San Diego. There's the beach right across the road. And yeah, your boys only got four wins last season, so that could explain why there's not much of a turnout for opening day. But I think soon enough, Salona Beach residents will come to realize that this team is not like the old teams. We are much better. We're improving. And part of this improvement process is really the youth movement that's happening on defense. As you can see, I'm controlling Stevens, a young freshman middle linebacker, already stepping up into his new role. And then John John, our best recruit in Salona Beach history, is plugging up the middle there. He should be a dominant force for our defensive line. All right, it's third and seven just outside the red zone. Can we get the stop? Yes, the sack is delivered by none other than John John, the man who is in the top 10 for high school sacks in nation history there. That's a big play from our gem prospects. This is literally what we got our mans here for, to get through the line and create havoc. And that's exactly what we wanna see. The defensive stop leads to a missed field goal, and that gives an opportunity for Adam and the offense to get to work. Let's get Brent Burrell, our newest running back, involved, the freshman for six. Just about getting to midfield here. Maybe the, oh man, Adam Allen, not enough time to find someone here, just gets dropped, and we're gonna have to punt the ball back. Sending five guys out here, that's a lot of players, and yeah, a lot of 
separation. And one thing has led to another this drive. They've cruised all the way down to the red zone. Blitzing in with the defense. Stevens just gets tripped over on his own man. Tried to bring the quarterback down. Third and goal. Let's plug it up. Going out to the left. Can we make the stop? Bruh. Suddenly down by a touchdown to the FCS opponent. Phillip Rivers needs to see if Adam Allen has what it takes to lead the squad forward. Man, we had a chance to evaluate Brandon Moore in practice, and he was not making poor throws like that. Fourth and inches. This is what the true freshman fullback is exactly for. Thank you. I'm tempted to give Brandon Moore a look and just run with the hot hand once again. So Adam Allen to Rock Boston. That's a good play. Nothing like a beautiful day to play some football. And we're going to dump it out to Rock Boston for another beautiful lob. Scrambling out here. We had an open guy, but we're just going to take it ourselves and step out. Going back to a mid attack. Rock Boston should be open. He's got a step. And where the heck did Tillman just come from? Something just feels off today right now. And I can't put my finger on it. We can't have this an opening day. 43 seconds to work scrambling there's buchanan the alaska sponge we got to get him involved third down we'll just jump it out to buchanan there we go did he drop it oh no he dropped it all right philip rivers is gonna go have to tear into our guys in the locker room this is unacceptable behavior against an fcs opponent philip rivers is not happy at all right now with adam allen as adam allen gave him a bunch of lip in the locker room essentially adam allen was complaining how bad the play calling was so it's up to brandon moore now to see if he has the momentum to drive this team to the promised land. Adam Allen essentially has all half now to think about his choices and his poor use of words as Brandon Moore is going to have an opportunity to lead the offense. Another fourth down. We're playing like this is our last chance and McFadden's going to catch it, but we're not going to have enough. Back against the wall. This has to be the drive if we're going to show that we can compete with anyone, including Texas here in a couple weeks. Little play action here. We got a man deep. Can we connect? We do. It's Jennings, our new wide receiver one for the year with Brent Martin graduated. Second and goal. Little handoff to Donnie. He's finishing it off. Defense doing their best to keep their end of the bargain alive. And uh-oh, Pauling just whiffs it. That's a first down. Third and inches. I'm selling everything up the middle. I don't even care. It's a run up the middle, and I don't care. It worked. It was going to be a pass, but we thankfully drop him for John John's second sack of the game. And that sack puts him a bit further out of range. This is a 50-something yard field goal. The FCS kicker has nowhere near the leg. Fans have finally something to cheer about. They're going wild in their seats. We're 0 for 5 on third down conversions. Maybe we can do something with Brandon Moore's legs, and that's going to work. Back to the read option. Brandon Moore's going to keep it. He has got some wheels, and he's going to jump outside for a 16 yard carry oh man adam should not have got himself in trouble with philip rivers because i can feel the tide turning for brandon dropping back looking to lead his team to victory brock boston across the middle gets us right down to the goal line moore stood in there and took a hit brent burrell wants to get in on some and there you have it he's got his first touchdown in his collegiate career defense finally playing with the lead let's let these guys cook and what in the world is this was this a screen i've never seen before it's third and three a halfback draw just runs us over, man. We're definitely going to be feeling that one at the end of this game. Unlike Arch Manning, Vince Manning has opted in to be in the game. And there he is again. He's in the game and he's a difference maker. Two TFLs for Vince Manning and it's third down now. I'm on this. I'm on this. Uh, I sold. I sold. I sold. The burden is still on the FCS school here. They need to score. So it's not all said and done yet because look at that sack. Third and 10. Here we go. I'm covering the middle. Stevens again. That dude is so open. Thankfully, he's out of bounds. Let's clamp down, fellas. No more funny business. It's no fly zone. And it's time to soak them up. And yes, soak them up. Got the ball. Turnover. One first down. We can walk our way out of here. Brent Burrell with the blockers. Second and three. Back up the middle. It's Brent with a gaping hole. Down 10 to zero at halftime. We come back and win 14 to 10. Brandon Moore is going to go ahead and secure this job for week two. A win's a win, but I'm going to admit I'm not too happy about the performance today against an FCS opponent. We played way down to their level and a team like Texas will steamroll us at this rate. Game two of the young season is none other than the battle of the beaches. Huge rivalry game in store for us and the scale is finally balancing out. Coastal Carolina is one and one, we're one and oh. This week is pivotal. If we can show Coastal that we mean business, that'll go a long way in the season to go. Coach got the sense with his squad down 10-0 to an FCS opponent that changes had to be made, and that change was for Brandon Moore to come in. Sometimes Moore can be just as inaccurate as Adam, but the thing that Moore has is this burst. You can really feel it when he tucks it to run, and look at that. Do I prove my point? 
you can really feel the difference he makes on the ground. Third and seven, let's chuck it up to McFadden, and that pressure led to an accurate ball. Senior kickers need some love too, you know, so let's get Kai Smallwood involved for a big three. Holding an FCS opponent to 10 points, that's pretty good, but this is a real test now against Coastal. In fourth and five, the Battle of the Beaches swinging in the sponge favor. Okay, I went to simulate the punt return, and it looks like it was muffed and fumbled, so now Coastal actually gets the ball back and they're in the red zone. So a promising start on defense turns into tragedy here, and Lott scores six. All right, guys, I hope we got that out of our system as Jennings with a big catch. Brandon Moore just looking for someone, scrambling out a little here. We got a couple options, but I see a big one down the field, and I waited way too long. That's probably my fault because our receiver was so open. All right, I can't blame Brandon entirely on that pick as King Sponge really is to blame for throwing that a bit late. Fourth down, we're gonna go, and I'm gonna scramble out to my right. I think we can just pick it up with Brandon's legs, who will cut back in. Fumble, we should've slid. Way more turnovers than you'd like to see in the Battle of the Beaches. It just can't happen. Big sack, let's go. A huge stop here on third down. Looks like Willie got in there, made the play. Thankfully, that stop bails out Brandon in his fumble. We got to push forward here. Third and five. Let's drop it out to Rock Boston. Cut up field. I don't know why I went back down the other way. Philip Rivers does not want to punt again. So he's going to go for it. And Jennings just throws him down. Big first down. Jennings making an early impact. Buchanan, we're looking to get him more involved. And oh man, put him on skates. Where's that 95 speed? All the way. Not a touchdown, but definitely had the gas to just freeze his defender up and kick it into gear. So let's run a little QB thing up the middle. Yes, touchdown. Anything goes in a rivalry game, so we have to be on our A game here against Coastal. And yeah, that's a big stop. Let's go, defense coming through. Sponge has got the momentum, so let's keep riding high. I'm gonna throw a little play action. Buchanan makes the play. Let's see if we can do it again. Again, oh my gosh, he has a step, but I don't think we have the arm to get it there. I can just tell his speed is gonna be a game changer out here. Mike Jennings to not be outdone. Let's lob this one up to our Rock Boston. And why does that like always look so good? You know, Rock Boston has the height. He has the speed, the step. It just looks good every time. Rock Boston looks open, but he's not. That's the catch. And Brent Burrell, in this case, oh man, oh man. Break through four or five tackles, why don't you? Jeez Louise, keep that up and you'll have a spot on the Salona Beach Hall of Fame. Dropping it back, I think Buchanan's gonna get this one. Yes, sir. Turning it back up with just 20 seconds left. Out to Buchanan, the Alaskan sponge down within two yards to go. Even with 13 seconds left, we still got two timeouts, so I definitely have the time to plunge it in with one carry here. Brent with six. Second half, starting off strong on defense here. We have not given up a third down conversion at all, and that streak will continue. We'll take the ball back, and we'll start pounding it up the middle with Burrow. Brandon, always a threat with his legs as well, as he's going to kick it to the outside. He has got some space. Got to incorporate Brent on the halfback stretch. Yep, he's got a space to the outside there. Good run. Got Donnie Turner in the game now, but we're going to call a read option here and keep it with Brandon. Who gets forward the first down? Second and 10. I think King should be open here. Yes, sir. Way to haul it in and get us into the red zone. Second and 12. I'm going to scramble. Yeah, let's just take it with our legs. Get the block. Sneak around. First and goal. Just a few yards to go. Let's get a little quick slant action here. Buchanan gets a step. There's the Alaskan sponge making his big first splash play soaking up the moment here just enjoying it and while the offense may be celebrating we still have work to do here on defense we still got a full quarter of football in the fourth to play and yeah mcfadden and coastal waste no time getting into the end zone dropping back throwing the dime we weren't there so moral of the story is we can't rest yet the job is not finished third and 17 this is a big play for our offense if we can convert and we just get stuffed need a big defensive play here and we can get out of here scot-free but medlock catches it gets into the red zone they're at least in field goal range 270 passing yards three touchdowns not a bad day at the office for this vasco kid he's looking to hope and bring the coastal carolina chanticleers to victory but we got to stop them. This is a big field goal. They can tie the game up right here with a kick, but it's kind of far. And I don't know if he's got the leg off the bar. This will be the defining drive for the rest of the game. If we come through here, we can walk away victorious. Third and four, we need some players to step up and make some plays. And Brandon Moore is going to be that player. Brandon Moore has rushed for over 100 on the day. And he's going to find Buchanan, the Alaskan, for the first down. And that should ice this one out. So what we can do here is run the ball, chew clock, and 
and finish this one off. Third and two, let's go with the slant to the right. Yep, that's gonna do it. The Battle of the Beaches belongs to Salona Beach. Love to see it. After beating Coastal, we got five guys. We can start whining and dining. And in that group of five, one of those guys was Kevin Goodman. And look at this. We are killing the game here over any other Power 5 program. The 6-1 Gem DB with 95 speed, 90 excel would be a monster corner. So yeah, I'm not gonna waste any time. We scheduled him for week five so we can finish him off early. Six, eight, Brian is also ready to visit. I think I wanna get him in week five as well just so we can get some separation from UAB and hopefully seal the deal. David Barry, the three-star, 76 overall middle linebacker. We're in a battle here with a host of other schools. I have no time to waste. Week five is shaping up to be a big week. Same with the six, six defensive end, Garrett. Let's make him ours. Man has seven offers on the table already from pretty good schools. Week five it is. Before we look ahead, head to week five week four has one heck of a challenge for us 99 across the board the texas longhorns both squads are two and O on the young season the only difference is the longhorns are second ranked in the nation all right what do you guys think is it just wishful thinking on my part because look at that sea of orange out here man this stadium is massive it is gonna be a dog fight all game long and maxwell tripped up just a reminder we're at a point in the sim where it's year four so you're probably not going to see many familiar faces so for all you Longhorn fans, the sim has you guys at 99 overall in year four of the rebuild. I think Salona Beach has something to say about it as that option play really worked out there last second. Side note, John John right there already has the star emblem under his name. And uh, that's what we love to see from the star freshman. Coleman, our safety is an 80 overall. He's got to be one of the best guys on the roster as he makes another tackle for loss. And the defense here forcing Texas to take like a 55 yard field goal attempt. I mean, they got the guys on the team and it's off the crossbar. Controller absolutely destroying my hands right now with the vibration. We must be a little bit nervous here. I had a guy, but I was too scared to throw it. For some reason, I didn't hit the guy on the curl flat when I should have. And now we're back on defense. Second and nine, bringing it in and back is literally gone nine night like there's no one gonna stop him until 37 yards later third and 10 here i think i'm definitely gonna call pass and they go handoff draw oh my goodness and he just gets a first down out of it here we go third and goal qb keeper he's so open i believe in miracles how about you guys it's third and 10 we're yet to complete a pass the curl flat will do there's a first down dialing in here gonna go out to the bench Buchanan gets hit and drops it. Unfortunately for us, that was just really good DB play. The slant kind of opens up. King gets the first down and keeps trucking. Couple first downs. Now we're starting to settle in. That's what I like to see. Second and nine. King, our receiver, gets back in there with a bruised sternum, but it doesn't matter. Jamon Tap tapped us for a major loss on that last sack. So we're just going to chuck this one up can't come down with it fourth down if we can get a stop here it would be incredible to see because we have just a couple minutes left off his back foot that's a bad throw we pick it off that's jim hicks oh man that is the sophomore corner making a play huge turn of events we love to see that now brandon's got wide open grass and he's gonna get a big pickup just past midfield you've definitely got to fight for your right to beat texas that's a big sack oh man we got the wigglies it's third and 18 i'm just gonna let the clock tick and then i'm gonna snap it and I'm gonna see if we can do anything miraculous here, but yeah, see, not a chance. Oh man, I did not see this coming. We punt, I hit the sim button, and we get a safety. Halftime seven, Texas two, Salona Beach. With third and inches to go, we're gonna spread it out, and we're gonna hand it off to Brent, who's got some space. Going back to the option, Brent again has some room, and there's that 90 speed kicking in. I foresee this shotgun spread being a pretty successful play against the defense here. Longhorn defense is having a hard time figuring out what to do in that formation. So if it ain't bro, I'm not going to fix it. I'm going to keep read optioning and using Brandon Moore to plunge forward. Second and seven, read option. They were really ready for it that time. All right, so that's going to force our hand to get a little bit more creative here. And that was a big play in and out of the hands of King. You got to help me out. 46 yarder for Kai. It shouldn't be a problem. And thank goodness the wind curved it back in. Third and 14, really just don't want to give up the big play. And why do they halfback draw? They got me the first time, not the second time. Our passing attack is suspect at best right now against these guys. And yeah, I don't feel too comfortable with it. And wow, I had an opportunity to get it out, but we just got sacked in like literally seconds. Brandon Moore strained his shoulder. Re-injury risk looks low. I'll keep him in. Because I think to start off this drive with just four minutes left in the fourth quarter, we're going to go back to the read option 
and keep chugging. Third and 10, usually I like to call curl flats around this time because look, Jennings is gonna get open and get the first down. This drive is massive to say the least. And Brandon Moore cutting in and out. What a play down the sideline. Oh baby, the air has been taken out of this stadium for sure. Chavis, the freshman fullback gets us to first and goal. Chavis, my man, how you feeling? You wanna tote the rock one more time? Try it out, my dude. Touchdown, let's go. Just a methodical drive all the way down the field. Couldn't convert with the two point conversion. So it's up to us here on defense to make the stand. This defensive unit has been putting in work all game. I couldn't be more proud of Salona Beach right now. Now let's finish the job though. Under a minute to go. And man, I hate when that happens. Like I'm there. They throw it, then I get all weird with it. That's not cool when that happens. So now we got a first and 10. Fresh set for Maxwell is just gonna take it out of bounds. This is potentially a really risky play. I mean, we're blitzing on third and three. Can we make the stop? Hold him down. Fourth down, let's go. This is literally do or die territory. And fourth down, this could be the game. This could be the difference. He's going deep and it's the difference against us. Oh no, is he inbounds? I don't know, yeah, I figured, but if that overturned and they lost because of that, oh man. With all three timeouts though, I don't think I should pass every play. I think I could run and call a timeout as well. And we're just gonna chuck that one up. Oh my goodness, Jennings, keep going. Yes, sir, what a play. I'm gonna run the shotgun spread flex formation. We are gonna go and read option here and keep it with Brandon, who's gonna keep it up the middle. Big play. All right, this is extremely risky. I'm toying with the idea of taking a shot to the end zone with five seconds left, but we can take our field goal, we know that. Let's just see what happens here. I'll throw it away if it doesn't shape out pretty quick. And yeah, we, we got a guy. Buchanan, get down. No, 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 no. The time ran out. He had it. He had it. The clock ran out. Oh my gosh. No. The Longhorns win. Honestly, I can say no regrets. I mean, shoot. We go to OT, go back and forth, and what? Texas pulls away, or I take my shot there to win it. And we had the shot. Absolute bummer of a way to lose there against the Longhorns, but we're going to have to shake it off. We got a bunch of recruits coming to visit us in week five against the Rams, and they what are they doing? They have no business with a 91 overall offense. David, Kevin, Brian, we need all of you to come to Solana Beach. Phillip Rivers talking to his guys, helping them build the morale after that heartbreaking loss. We gotta go slam some Rams to take out our pain and frustration. I remember a couple of these guys, and yeah, this could be a finicky team to play against as they'll run it, they'll QB keep it, they'll do some option stuff, it's interesting. But we'll get the stop here, Stevens, the freshman. Now one thing's for darn sure, the Rams 78 overall defense will not feel like the 99 defense we just played. Third and 12, sure, I'll go down the sideline, find Buchanan once again, symbolic of the play we had against the Longhorns, yet couldn't finish it. Back to our favorite formation, a little read option this time, we got some blockers, the convoy in front, all the way down to the goal line. Don't usually have a lot of success with this play, but let's hope it works here. The flick to Brent, he didn't work. Hey, touchdown. So if the Rams truly do have this good offense they so claim, we're gonna have to keep up on offense as well. And bro, third down, let's rally the troops. Looking for a big stand here. I'm just covering my zone, looking for something, and Long's gonna cash in. It's gonna be a third and 19. I'm gonna go out to Mike Jennings, and we miss him. Here we go, up the middle with the blitz. There's some pressure coming in. That unfortunately leaves Henderson open, who's gonna get right down to the goal. Let's plug it up, up the middle. Braden flicks it out on the speed option. Bummer. All right, let's come out with a slant. Someone's gonna get open here, I can tell. And that's gonna be King. Drop him back, a little curl flat action. There's Jennings and a spin and a stop. Looking for the efficient drive down the field. Jennings, do you wanna make a play? I don't understand that route you just took, man. Like maybe I'm just getting frustrated at the game. I don't know, but that was ridiculous. Make it make sense. The Rams are a tricky one to figure out. Thankfully, John John, the big freshman with a sack. Now third and long, I am gonna go out here and thankfully we hold him short. Only down by 10 is pretty reassuring to say the least because they have been cooking us on offense and look at Brandon go. We get some big plays here and there, but there comes a point when it all turns to shiz and thankfully not so far in this drive. 30 yards out, I'm gonna drop it back. I had a guy, dude, I had a couple guys. Unbelievable and no, we did the worst thing we could do, the fumble. Bro, dude, I can't stand this right now. The Rams in their offense, unbelievable. Brandon Moore got hurt on that last play, so Adam Allen gets a second chance and throws that one away. Looks like even after halftime, Adam Allen is the quarterback since uh, Brandon Moore got hurt 
and hopefully Adam Allen can shake it off from his week one ugly performance against the FCS school. Safe to say Adam Allen and our defense had no answers today, regardless of Buchanan breaking free and icing the defense with that frozen sponge catch. I'm so confused. Like, how can this defense, how could this team that's capable of almost beating Texas get so manhandled? It's a humbling experience to say the least. Braden just destroyed us. The worst part of that humiliating game is we had recruits coming to visit. And Garrett Ward still commits to us, but we had big names like Kevin Goodman and David Barry. We couldn't make much separation on. Thankfully though, Kevin Goodman, it seems to be in the bag here. Let's shake off that last one, get back to the roots and give Army one heck of a game. Brandon Moore, strained shoulder, questionable for this one. It's a cold cloudy day here against Army. We're gonna have to work hard to keep up with these guys in their tempo. Pretty evenly matched on paper. I know this team runs so many options. It's like insane. They got all the triple options, everything. It's definitely a big reason why these guys are four and one because gosh, it is a hard attack to stop. It is rare to see these guys pass and see even on third down, they're handing it off. Third and one, let me guess, a run to the left. It was, and we stifle them. Oh man, but I can't feel too comfortable. They're going for it on fourth down and they're actually passing. This is rare. But it's a bad decision. It's Jim Hicks all over that one. Second and five, I noticed that Army defender over there pressing up a bit. So I think with our speed, we could get past him. No, he does a good job clamping him down. Thankfully, Adam Allen has a little bit of legs of his own. Adam Allen pretty much did nothing to help his cause in that game against Colorado State. But it's hard for me to blame the man when we get baited again. I... I called it earlier in the episode. I mean, I don't know if we want a flashback, but it's like I said, I get baited on that play every time. Hanging tough with Army right now. It's been difficult to find any yards and there's actually our first pass completion. We need some targets. We need some folks to step up and make some plays for our team. And Brent there, good catch. Brent Burrell is definitely a solid option out of the backfield as he's got good hands too. Brock Boston dealing with some back spasms. Let's sub him out for now. Kai sometimes worries me when he's kicking it. Let's see if he has the leg for a 49 yarder. Just missed. Forcing the run heavy Knights to a third and 15. They're gonna have to pass here and they do. They're gonna just have to punt it back though. Let's convert here with the play. Scrambling out, Adams got some legs. Unfortunately, some defensive pressure on us. Donnie Turner though breaks open. Let's go. This is probably our best chance yet as I'm gonna launch one up to Buchanan. He's got a step in the corner, touchdown. Army wasting no time to move down the field here. Passing a lot this drive and actually connecting a couple times. It's like our defense got accustomed to stopping the run that the pass is now actually gashing us. All the blitz, the option, we take him down or do we? Sir, someone please stop this man. No way number 19 from Army is that strong. Like that's next level stuff. I guess Army doesn't invest in good kickers because they absolutely blew the point after attempt. Gotta keep it moving here. Second half football across the middle. It's McCorder. Good play. Let's give these guys a little taste of their medicine with a read option of our own. And yeah, Adam Allen, do the rest. I said Adam Allen or Brent, do the rest. Third and goal. Army has been passing a little more than I expected them to. That's what I was expecting. And thankfully we get a stop. So it looks like I answered my own question. Army really does not trust their kicker at all as they're going for it. And Jim Hicks on fourth and goal makes the pick. Jim Hicks keeps making me blush, man. I must admit. It's exciting to see. And you know what else is exciting? That run was so exciting, so blush inducing. Well, good news for Salona Beach here. This one's all she wrote as we can just make another stop. And man, that was almost another pick. And yep, there it is, the sign of defeat. The white flag is up for Army. They're gonna punt it to us down by a couple scores. We're gonna walk out of here victorious. Let's get it, man. Coming in to West Point, getting a dub. Brent Burrell had a solid game on the ground. I am excited about the bounce back performance there. After getting embarrassed by Colorado State, that feels so far out of sight now. Big wins, big prizes. Kevin Goodman is our prize. The 78 overall corner has committed to Salona Beach. That is tied for our best recruit ever to come to Salona Beach. Also frees up a couple thousand points to allocate, and I got a lot of guys to clear off this board that are just locking us out. So over to the recruiting board we go, and we find a corner from South Carolina. We'll add that. Alaska players have been playing well on our team, so let's get this guy too. All right, now we're going to evaluate some of those new guys we just added, and boom, Scott Osborne, the Alaska. Alaska linebacker, a 75 overall. We gotta bring him home. Robert Thomas, another heater. Jamie Stone, looking pretty good. All right, so let's definitely plug a lot of points into Scott, Robert, and Jamie Stone from Hawaii. That leads us to week seven against the Nevada Wolf Pack, another team we're on par with now. We've been working hard, year four rebuild. We can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys. We can continue our momentum, continue the run. 
Let's get a big dub here. And why was that Wolfpack guy holding a sponge helmet? I just noticed that last second. Starting out on defense, we gotta be careful with the Wolfpack. They run a lot and they run options. Big third down here on the opening drive. Let's bring in the pressure and dude. Dude, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Another third down opportunity. Let's not let them convert. And they convert again. Fifth opportunity here for them to convert or for us to get a stop. And thankfully, it's fourth down. And yep, you see that right. Adam Allen is the quarterback in this one. Our guy, Brandon, still dealing with his shoulder injury. Hoping to get out into the gridiron soon, but it's questionable. Fourth and two, read option. Let's keep it with Adam. Yeah, that'll do the trick. Got some blockers in front of us. Let's drop it back. Yep, go across. I see you, Jennings. Big snag. Running it back once more. I think the same play is going to get open. Jennings makes a snag. Fresh set of downs. Strike to McFadden into the goal line we go. First and goal. I'm going to look for my guy, Rock Boston, if I can see him. He's not going to get open in time. Adam Allen will do the rest. They're bringing it. They're running it. They're scoring it. That's what they do. In real life, I can definitely see how the Wolfpack go one and four. But in the video game, they are a pesky bunch. It could be just me and Salona Beach right now, but... They always do this thing with the options and the runs. It's nuts. Let's get a little score here before half. That would be ideal. We had Jennings open, and this is what I'm talking about. We are literally in year four of a rebuild, and we can't hit an open guy. I just need to... Oh, man. Oh, man. Turn it over on the fumble. He's got an opportunity to get a wide open Brown touchdown. Second and 10, 40 seconds left. I want to score, and I'm just getting destroyed by Nevada. I'm really trying to tell y'all there's something about Nevada for whatever reason that I just can't stop. It's so annoying. And then Adam can't throw or hit the broadside of a barn today. Getting out gained 244 yards to our 58 in the first half. It's abysmal. And there's something in the water with these freaking wolf pack like our team has literally gone mia against these guys and it's another fourth down that's right i'm going for it on fourth down here we go rock boston thank you sir maybe that is all the breathing room we need and buchanan and adam can get to work little play action let's see if we can get someone to spring open we got a man can we hit him under pressure king with the snag second and one halfback stretch it's brent and he's got a step oh man what a shoestring tackle little first and ten action here over the middle to Brock Boston should be open. Yes, sir. Touchdown. Love feeding that guy the rock. Defense gets the stop. We get the play to King and we get a first down. Down by a couple touchdowns. It was about time we got the boys alive and McCorder keeps it in stride. Big man rumbling. Beautiful work out here. We're already back down into the red zone. Buchanan with the snag. All right. I say we let Brent Cook here in the end zone. Up the middle. Touchdown. It's just taking us a little time to figure out the Wolfpack offense, but we're doing better for the most part three yards after three yards after three yards get a stop there for minus three yards that's going to take us to the fourth quarter and nevada is going to start it off testing their luck with their field goal kicker does he have the leg for this big one not even close not going in their favor that's for sure as rock boston is going in our favor what a snag and way to stay up and way to keep going that was clean that big fella can move it and i think he can move it some more bro come on the middle is like my weak spot. Like there's guys that are open there, but then dudes just move laterally and stick their hands out. Third and absolutely long. We're gonna just chuck one up deep to our speedster. Buchanan had the step and he finishes it off. Oh my goodness. Sure making Alaska proud with that big snag and score. This is massive. Third and 10 up by eight, minute to go. Stop here. There's fourth. They're going to go for it, obviously, but a stop here wins the game. With fourth and one, we're going to call up the play called Lightning. I think that sounds fitting, so we'll need a Lightning strike here on defense. And what do you know? We get that strike. We haven't called his name too much, but it's Brown, number 92, making the massive play to seal this game out. What a comeback. Thank goodness for that second half performance from Adam Allen and the team. We drove down. We took care of business. This is a good look at the halfway point with a handful more games to go. We're just a couple away from bowl eligible. Ability. And with that dub, add a couple more recruits to the list coming down to Salona Beach. And with week eight being a bye week, I think it's the perfect time for me to say, if you're soaking up the series, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and drop a like on the video. I got plenty more content you should check out. And if you're all about college football, keep it here. It's been King Sponge and I'll see you in the next.